even in the remotest parts of England, spending a beautiful cold night under the bright stars. There's still signs of man. There's plane trails and blinking satellites up there, lights in the valley down there, an orange smudge in the sky glowing all night from a distant big town. And then when I started to run, running the cold out of my bones and heading up here to the high tops, there's signs of people everywhere. The thing about these signs though, the eroded paths and trails up here, is that the damage is made by people like me who care more about the environment than most. Even this small corner of England's got about five million pound shortfall needed to fix the fells path. Some people argue that our wild areas should be left feral, rewilded with trees and wildlife. But on the other hand, humans have lived in these hills for centuries and the shepherds here love the land as much as any of us. The shepherd's life has to shape and work this landscape in a sustainable way. What should the priority be? I don't know. It's definitely true for me that the more I know about the land, the more I care and feel responsible for it. Even something as simple as learning the names of the, the hills that I'm running over by uh, modern apps or more old fashioned methods. Caring's one thing, but how many of us actually do anything to help these hills that we love? What if we all donated a day's pay each time we enjoyed a priceless day out like this? Maybe I could ask everyone who watches this little film to donate what they think it's worth to an environmental cause that matters to them. That's not too much to ask, really, is it? I love this land and all the lands like it across the world, but I really need to do more to actively care for what's left of it. I guess that we probably all need to do that, don't we?